Hi, welcome back. I'm Benjamin, author of Master Math Models, and my goal is to make math easy for kids to understand. So today we'll be working on the PSLE question based on trapeziums. Uh, this is based on memory recall, and it should be the last question of the PSLE paper. Let's do this. So this is the question, question number 17, based on trapeziums. Okay, so the thing to remember about trapeziums is that the opposite sides of the trapezium, these two sides, are parallel to each other. Okay, and it is also given in the question that these uh, two lines here are perpendicular as shown by the right angle, and also these two lines are perpendicular. Okay, so while keeping this in mind, let us read the question. Okay, so the first thing is to focus on the keywords. The figure is made out of a trapezium with a perimeter of 96 centimeters. It says that figure A over here is made up of three such trapeziums. So these three trapeziums are similar to the one over here. And it has a perimeter of 204. The question is asking you to find the length of PQ. In figure B, this figure is made up of four such trapeziums and it has an area of 1,932 square centimeters. It is given that CD is 12 cm, so CD is over here, this is 12 cm. And your question is to find the length of PR, this length, okay? Now, this, this length PR is actually the same as the length PR over here. So in reality, that's what we are finding, okay? Because it's the shorter side of the parallel sides. So let's begin with the first in piece of information, which is that the perimeter is 96 centimeters. So just to make sure that you understand, the 96 centimeters that we are talking about is over here. This plus this plus this plus this. So together, that makes 96 centimeters. It is also given that figure A has a perimeter of 204 centimeters. So the 204 centimeters goes like this. Okay, I'm highlighting the lines that add up to 204. Since this figure is made up of three trapeziums that are like the one here, we should start by finding the perimeter of three trapeziums. Since the perimeter of one trapezium is 96 centimeters, then the perimeter of three trapeziums would be 96 centimeters times three. This would give us 288 centimeters. So where is this 288 centimeters? It is made up of all the lines that you see here in figure A. But it is also given that figure A has a perimeter of 204. So why is it different from the 288 that we found? The answer is that some of the lines which we are counting in 288 are inside the figure and it does not count as part of the perimeter of figure A, okay? So where are the lines that are inside the figure and how many lines are there? Okay, what I'm gonna do is to make this clear, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight PQ, I'm gonna highlight PQ in pink, okay? So this pink line is inside the figure. And this does not count as part of the 204. But there is more than one line because for this trapezium, there is one line. But for this trapezium, there is another line. Okay, it's just that they are overlapping. Is that all? The answer is no, of course. There are two more lines that are inside which is not included in 204. 
Okay, this represents one of the lines. And for this trapezium, there is another line here. So in total, you can see that there are four pink lines. These four pink lines are equal and they are all equal to PQ, okay? If I were to now take the perimeter of the three trapeziums that we found earlier, and I were to subtract away the perimeter of the figure A, that will give me the four lines that we were talking about. And each of them is equal to PQ, so I'm going to write four PQ. And I'm going to take 288, and I'm going to subtract 204. This will give me 84 centimeters. So 84 centimeters is four times of this line. So to find PQ, I'm going to divide that by four. So PQ would then be 84 centimeters divided by four to give me 21 centimeters. So now that I know it's 21, a good habit is to put it back in the diagram. So this is 21. I have solved the first question, the length of PQ. So the length of PQ is 21. Okay, so that's the answer for part A. In part B, it says that there are four such trapeziums. The area is 1932, and this is 12 centimeters. So with that, your goal is to find the length of PR. PR is this red line, which I showed you earlier is the equivalent of this line. Now, bear in mind that this red line is equivalent to this red line. Okay, that is the wrong color. It is the same as the line over here. All right. Remember that we already found that PQ is 21 cm. PQ is the equivalent of this line for this trapezium. That means that I know that this portion here is 21 centimeters. Now, let us go back to the question. And it says that the area of all the trapeziums here is 1932. If we were to consider these two trapeziums as a rectangle, and these two trapeziums as another rectangle, then two rectangles will have a total area of 1932. If I were to take 1932 divided by two, then I will be finding the area of each of the rectangles. Why do I want to do that? Well, if I know that this side is 21 centimeters, and I know the area of this rectangle, I will be able to find the length of the rectangle, which would be here. Okay, so let's do that. So what we're going to do for part B is we're going to find the area of each rectangle, which is made up of two trapeziums. Okay, so each rectangle, which is made up of two trapeziums, would be 1,932 square centimeters divided by two to get 966 square centimeters, okay? And so if the area of this rectangle is 966 and the breadth is 21, I can now find the length, okay? Length of the rectangle would be 966 divided by 21, okay? Area divided by breadth. So if I take 966 divided by 21, 
I should get 46 centimeters. Okay, so 46 centimeters would be this length. All right. So if this is 46 centimeters and this is 21 and this part is 12, how do you find this? I'm sure you know how to do that, right? Now, let's find that portion. And that portion is actually PR, which is the question, okay? So once we find that, we're actually finding the answer. Now, to make this clear for you, I'm going to write here P, and I'm going to write here R, okay? So let's find PR right now. So what we do is we take PR, by finding, by taking the length, the entire length minus the two parts. So 46 centimeters, subtract 21, subtract 12. Okay, and this should give us 13 centimeters. If you found the explanation clear and simple, please leave a positive comment in the comment section. Remember to subscribe to watch all the other PSLE 2023 questions that I will be covering, as well as the toughest questions of the last few years in the PSLE. For a blank copy of this worksheet to try, please join my Telegram group found in the description of this video. I'll see you again. Bye-bye.